Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna go over how to draw a Minecraft sword. It's gonna be super easy and super simple. Uh, this is gonna be for beginners, okay? It's gonna be step by step. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a marker, preferably a marker, you can do it in pencil, it's okay. But I like the marker and this is a Crayola brand marker. Pa uh, paper wise, you can use any kind of paper you want, but this is computer printing paper. Computer paper, easy, simple. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna draw it at an angle, the way it's pretty much everywhere at an angle. So I'm gonna draw a straight line here. Another one here. I'm gonna connect these two right here and now, uh, well, I'll connect this one and this one. And now you have like a box, a pretty much a slanted box or a diamond or whatever. Go back in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw across here. It's gonna be the guard of the sword. And again, that's also it could essentially be like a long rectangle in a way that's you know not closed up. Let's close that up. Could just be a long rectangle as well. All right. Then, I'm gonna draw a line out here, a line out here, and I'm going to connect them here, at the edge. Line out here, line out here. Kind of almost like these diamond shapes at the end. All right, let's draw the back over here. Two lines outward. Down, down. Line across, down, down. the square inside of that. That's gonna be way, way at the end of the, I guess, the hilt, I guess. Um, the sword's gonna come out here, by the way, but we're not there yet. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be posting every single uh, weekday. I'm gonna be posting three times every single weekday. So if you wanna learn a little bit about drawing, a tiny, tiny bit about drawing every single day, or at least every single weekday, um, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you find my stuff here worth your time, please consider. Uh, it helps out the algorithm. It's completely free to do so, so there's no downside to it. Uh, and it's gonna let you know about, I don't know, it's gonna, it's gonna let you know for about every three videos, I bet you, that I posted something. Um, thank you, uh, like I said, if you do, thank you so much. Okay, let's do the end of the sword over here. Let's start the main portion of the sword, the blade of the sword. I'm gonna start over here about, I'm gonna mark it actually. I like marking stuff before I really go into it. Pulling out. Pulling out. So you need control for that, be careful with those lines there. And I'm gonna merge those at the tip, right? So I'm gonna draw a line here, and a line here. And I'm gonna draw one line in the middle, going right down the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the line everywhere. Just everywhere, I'm gonna thicken the line. Just to make it look more definitive and better. While I'm doing that, I am gonna to talk to you a little bit about this stuff. Uh, if you're starting as, a, as, a, as an artist, or if you're just doing this completely for fun, 
Um, something that I, I think is very key, and I've talked about this before, is your control with uh, the marker, the pencil, the pen. Your control is gonna dictate how clean and nice your drawing will look. Um, it's not just what's in your mind. Of course, what's in your mind, you know, memorizing, uh, you know, certain, you know, how things are drawn, of course, is gonna help, of course. Um, so, but sometimes you don't wanna fight the instrument you have. You don't wanna fight the arm that you're using, right? Your own body, you don't wanna fight it. So I always encourage people to improve their control of, you know, their pencil or, you know, pen or whatever. And the way you do that is many ways, but the biggest way is you do it is to draw a lot. The more you draw, the less the shaky hands thing is going to happen. Some people get shaky hands when they draw certain strokes. That's going to go away because you're getting the muscles in your hand working like a lot more. The reason that you even shake is because those muscles are not used to doing that motion. And that you're activating muscles in your arm and hand that just don't, are, are not often. And so you want, what you want to do is you really want to get the, used to that. And the best way to do it is to draw a lot. I draw every day. I draw six hours every day, even now. I used to draw more than that. I used to draw like 10 hours every day, like, but you don't have to do that. Uh, you can draw maybe about an hour, a full-blown hour every day, just enough where, you know, the world shuts down and you're kind of in your moment and like you're really just kind of drawing something um, it, it, where it has your full attention. If you just do that for like an hour every day, maybe five days a week, if you can't do it every day, then you're going to see yourself draw cleaner and better before you even, before you even like learning actual things about drawing. You don't want to, like I said, that's so, so important. And I, th I think people don't really emphasize it enough. And so that's kind of why I emphasize it so much on my channel here. That even if you want to just do this as a hobby, I encourage you to, you know, improve your control over, you know, like I said, the instrument. It's just a good idea. Easy thing you can do would be to do circles on a separate piece of paper. Do like circles, uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. Don't anchor your wrist when you draw as much, you wanna, or I mean, sometimes you do have to do that, but I would say a better thing to do would be practice moving your elbow and your arm when you draw like large shapes like this, where you're drawing that. I'm moving, like when I do this, I'm moving my elbow for the most part, not so much my arm, but my elbow. And then certain things here, I'm moving my shoulder and my elbow. And then I'm anchoring my pinky down for like balance, for a little bit more control right here. And I'm moving it all over. Obviously, you have to be careful because you might smudge stuff, right, if you just anchor over that. Uh, but anyways, that's it. I hope that helped you out. Uh, if you did get to this point, please do me a huge favor and say hi to me in the comments, and I'll know you got to this point. Um, that is it. This is Easy Pictures to Draw. Check out the free ebook in the description. Uh, hopefully, you can find it. That's the only downside. You got to, like, dig for it in that description section. But it's a free ebook, and uh, it'll help you immensely. I will talk to you next time.